Three, Zach Pickens. Number 10, Mitchell Schaefer. Number 12, Caleb Schaefer. Number 16, Bailey Small. Number 24, Brady Pecatorn. Number 99, Wade Schaefer. And a keeper, number 9, Aaron Cox. The seniors are coached by Trevor Brown. And now the starters for your casting comments. All right, I apologize about that. I uh, I missed the Rochester lineup here. I apologize, Zebra fans. Um, so, comment starting lineup. We've got Emily Holt, Wyatt Brummett, Luke Lau. Uh, Noah Rogers. Noah Rogers. Noah Howdeshell. Braden Breed. Uh, I've gotten behind here. Aubrey. <laughs> I'm struggling hard today, folks. Pretty sure that's Rowan Jellison, um, Jonathan Pacheco, Kegan Slocum, uh, Edgar Aguilar. I think he's yes. a freshman, so I don't really know too many of the freshmen. And, well, uh, and then Brady Evans. Brady Evans, also a freshman. Mm -hmm. Think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals. Right. We were talking earlier about um, uh, how we had a lot of seniors and stuff and a lot of freshmen. Looking at the starting lineup, there's actually a lot of freshmen that are starting too. I mean, we had four or five freshmen out there. So that's half of the starting lineup right there. Well, that probably, I, I would guess, <laughs> I would guess that that bodes well for the program then. If you've got freshmen who are over caliber to be on your starting lineup, then again, it's early in the season. Uh, Coach Sanchez may be, may be looking to see what his, uh, what his best starting lineup is. You know, I, I honestly, I've talked to him just a little bit passing in the hallways, but I haven't had a lot of opportunity to ask him, you know, what he felt about his prospects and, and, and what his strategy was, so... We'll just have to see where we go. I see uh, Braden Breed is out for the face-off for the Comets. And... Or it's not a face-off. I was wrong about that. Hey, look at that. You Folks, know, once again, I uh, haven't watched a lot of soccer here. I'm going to tiptoe around soccer terms and just <laughs> talk about, like teamwork and that stuff because I know a lot more about that than technique because honestly I feel like soccer for me is like other people trying to listen to me talk about strategy when it comes to cross country <laughs> all right
All right, ball in play. Zebras have control right now. Pass over to Adam Maroney. Oh, that just got in between him. Emily Holt going to get the ball. Just missed it. And number eight, Zach Pickens working it down around the defense. Brady Evans trying to Luke kick it clear. Lau picking up that ball. Oh, sending it. Clearing it out to mid pitch. Kagan Slocum not quite able to get control of that in the middle of the pitch here. Braden Breed, though, manages to stop those Zebras play. A play. <laughs> He's well, taking it. it. And wow. almost sends it in. Nice stop there by the Zebras keeper. We've got number nine, Aaron Cox, in the net right now for the Zebras. And ball out of bounds. Comets ball, I believe. Yep. Thrown in by Rowan Jellison. And we've got a flag up down there. Was that Aguilar who kicked that in? And then we've got a kick clear by the Zebras defense. Coming down across mid pitch. It's uh, number 16, Bailey Small. Working it on down towards the goal. Passes it off to number 24, Braden Hegathorn. Brady Evans trying to get in there and uh, clear that out. He wasn't successful. Emily Holt, though. And there's a Zebra's goal. The goal was kicked by number eight, Zach Pickens. The zebra is drawing first blood in, in this afternoon's contest. And we're only about three minutes in, so. I know for soccer, uh, points and goals aren't really yeah, it, very it, heavy <laughs> when it comes to this type of sport. I mean, basketball, you rack up. Right, well, it's two for every bucket. 40 points, so. I mean. And usually get a basket every at least one minute. <laughs> so this is a little different for oh, me. Oh, nice play there. That was uh, number 39. 39, can I read? No, how about 99? Wade Schaefer getting in there and clearing the clearing that pass. Fight for the ball here at mid-pitch. Noah Rogers coming up with the ball. Nice fake out there. Passes it over to Braden Breed. Sending it down to Brady Evans. Not quite making it there. Right, some head work there by the Zebras, sending it back across mid-pitch. Rowan Jellison getting in the middle of that. A little oh. bit of trip there, I don't know. Wyatt Bromit sending it straight into number two from Rochester's face. Ouch. That would hurt. Yeah, no, uh, Soccer wow. players, uh... Take some serious abuse. I mean, when the whole point is to get the ball from out from under the other person's feet. <laughs> Penalty kick there was stopped. Oh, that's Bailey Zimpleman in the net for us. Mm -hmm. He's another freshman, isn't he, for our lineup then? Is he a freshman this year or is this his sophomore year? I think this is Bailey's sophomore year. You know, honestly, when yeah, I was sophomore. when I was a freshman sophomore, I knew about everybody. And now I walk down the hallway and I don't know <laughs> who anybody is. Ooh. 
Oh, no. There nice there stop there by Zimpleman. He got tied up with Luke Lau down by the net. Kicking the ball well down into the Zebra's territory. They're going to let that roll out of bounds. There's the throw in. In at number 24, Heckathorn. Luke Lau nudging it out of bounds. Or I think he was trying to throw that down to Braden Breed, but didn't quite get that, that throw in lined up right. All right, Brady Evans getting a piece of that ball. Back to number eight, Zach Pickens, Zebras. Jonathan Pacheco getting in there. Passes it over to Evans. Evans fumbling around with it a little bit. Passes it off to Breed. Goes over to Wade Schaefer of the Zebras. Breed trying to get that ball back. Brady Evans getting in the middle of that pass. Got a little bit of a back and forth here at the sideline of the mid pitch. And Zebra kick right into several Comets defenders. Back to mid pitch. And looks like uh, is that Rowan Jellison, yeah, chases it out of bounds down in the corner. Luke Lau kicking it yeah. towards midfield. Zach Schaefer from, of the Zebras has it again. Sends it back. Number 12, Caleb Schaefer. Comets and Zebras just kind of back and forth down here right in the middle of Comets territory. How to show sending it down to Pacheco. And we're going to be out of bounds on the far side. You know, I give major uh, props to soccer players. I'd be tempted to pick up the ball and, like, catch <laughs> it. Like, just out of reflex. I mean, if it's coming at my face, like, that's my first instinct <laughs> is just to catch it. <laughs> their instinct is to lower their head and just yeah, headbutt like, it. Yeah, like, hit it. We have, uh, I noticed we have Noah Hattishell in the game. You know, I don't know when he came in, but <laughs> I don't know how their substitution works. But he's in the game. Luke Lau trying to get in front of that ball. And nice stop there by Bailey Zimpleman. Sends it back down to midfield. Noah Howdeshell receiving that. Couldn't quite keep a hold of it. Nice play there by the Zebras defense. And Brady Evans trying to get on that ball. Can't quite get it. It's a Edgar Aguilar getting in there and getting vicious on that. I, I don't think my shins are built to play soccer. Your knees are hardly built to run anymore. <laughs> that's, that's true. I'm getting old. All right, Luke Lau getting it. Tries to get it out from away from the goal, but... Wait, that wasn't Luke down there. That was Noah Rogers. Hattishell trying to get on it. Ball just sent a little in front of him. And the ref's calling that Comet's ball. Ball out of bounds as uh, Noah Howdeshell and Caleb Schaefer 
Fighting for it. Throw in there. The zebras get possession of it. And working it back down into Comets territory. Brady Evans with the stop there. Sends it over to Braden Breed. Breed to How to Shell. How to Shell kicking it clear of the defenders with some fancy footwork. Over to Luke Lau. Lau with the attempted goal kick got intercepted there. I can't see the Zebras' numbers, Aubrey. No, number one, Jared Adley getting in the middle of that attempted goal kick. I don't know if the Zebras have numbers on the front of their jerseys. They, they don't. That's I think the, it's it's shorts in the back of yeah. their back of their jerseys. Comets managing to keep the ball down here in the middle of Zebras territory for right now. Sending it into Aguilar. Zebras getting possession here. Pacheco getting it back. Sends it towards the sends it towards the goal. Goes a little high and actually hits the uh, the play timer and from football football players won't be happy if we break that. Nice stop over on the far side by Noah Rogers. Know how to shell. Sends it towards the goal. Stopped by Rochester's keeper. Aaron Cox kicking it to the mid pitch. Luke Louse. Braden Breed. And Breed going just out of bounds with it. Couldn't quite, couldn't quite catch it with that with those soft feet. He probably could have gotten a good run if they want to have bounced out of bounds, but. There's a lot of uh, a lot of force at play when that ball comes that far down the field at you. Mm. Zebra sending the ball back into Comets territory. Luke Lau getting in the middle of that, and we're out of bounds, deep in the corner. Corner kick by the, or nope, zebras just handing it off to our goalkeeper. I thought that the ref flagged that it was Comet's ball. Mm -hmm. Bailey sending the ball down towards the middle of Comet's territory. No, Rogers getting the ball stripped away from him down there. Out off the Zebras. Comets will throw it back in. How to Shell outran that just a little bit. Zebras taking possession of it. Back across mid-pitch. How to shell, sending that over Pacheco. Pacheco sends it to the corner to Noah Rogers. How to shell with the goal kick and picked off by the goalkeeper. Luke Lau stopping at mid pitch, tries to send it to Aguilar. Picked off by number 99, Wade Schaefer. Oh. Hard impact down there as Bailey's implement. Bailey's implement also got taken out. <laughs> Coming up to meet the ball, and uh, Mitchell Schaefer was just full steam ahead with it. Noah going in for the. How to shell. There's the goal kick, there and it's it is. good. Noah How to shell tying it up, one all for the comments. 
That's definitely a good uh, opening for him because I know he was hurt for a while. They've been suffering with like people being hurt. And I say I don't think he played during the scrimmage. So unless I I, yeah. I don't remember. I didn't I didn't come and see the soccer scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't believe that he played during that, so that's definitely a good coming back. Yeah. Way to come back. Brady Evans sends it over to Jonathan Pacheco, picked off there by Wade Schaefer. Pacheco I'm really gets it back. I'm impressed with Pacheco. I mean, he's coming in. He's he can handle the ball. I mean, he's gone in there and got a lot of balls out from under Rochester's feet. Same with Brady Evans. Yeah, those. Are, well, that's a couple of guys who uh, they've they've been running track several years. I've had an opportunity to coach them in that aspect, and a couple of guys just they have a lot of heart. They they come in, they work hard, and there are a couple of guys that just quietly do the work they need to do. Mm -hmm. Brady just does it very quietly. Yeah, <laughs> he's definitely a very <laughs> shy guy. But that's all right. All right. Luke Lau going to throw the ball in. Tries to get it down to how to show. We had a zebra defender in the middle of that. Over to number 24, Braden Heckathorn. Over to Wade Schaefer. Schaefer going to send it down towards the goal. And Bailey Zimpelman getting on that. Drop kicks it. Clear pass mid pitch. And a, and a zebra defender waiting for that. Wade Schaefer sends it over to Zach Pickens. Pickens sending it downfield. And Rowan Jellison breaking that play by sending the ball out of bounds. Ooh, collision there by Aguilar and Breed. Aguilar a little slow to get up on that. So he's limping a little bit. They went shin to shin on that, I think. Breed down Breed on the ground again. Back down. And uh, Braden Heckathorn putting the ball into the bleachers pretty hard. He was a little upset with himself. It looked like that he didn't get positive control of that ball. Looks like we have some subs coming in. We have, uh, I believe that's Colby Pugh that, actually yep. going in for uh, Edgar Aguilar. Edgar looks like he's still limping just a little bit from that impact with yeah. Braden Breed. So he and got up I a little see slow. And Braden Heckathorn's heading off for the Zebras. Breed into how to show back to Breed and uh, Rochester picking that off down to Wade Schaefer in the midfield. Emily Holt Emily getting Holt. in the middle of that pass. And we're going to send it into Bailey Zimpleman. Clear that away from the Comets goal. Sending it into Emily Holt. Holt to Breed. Breed tries to send it to How to Show. We had a Rochester number seven, Adam Maroney, getting in the middle of that. Emily Holt strips it back from it, sends it over to Pacheco. Pacheco sends it down to How to Show. Nicely dodging a couple of defenders with that pass. How to Show gets tied up. Oh, Ooh, Breed going in for that ball. Got tripped on it. Looks like the referees are going to give it to him. And Haldeshell sends it sailing to the left of the goal. Right of the goal? I guess it depends on if you're the goalkeeper or the uh, offense, huh? <laughs> Right. Game's all tied up right now. One to one with 20 minutes left in the first half. On, 
Oh. Jellison trying to send it over to Howdershell in mid pitch. Rochester is sending that out of there. Wow. Well, looked like they were trying to tr kick it over under the track. Howdershell trying for that goal kick. It didn't quite have enough on it or enough angle on that. Clears it out on the other side of the pitch. All right, ball down the sideline. Emily Holt gets a piece of it and sends it out of bounds. Know how to show with it now. Stripped off there by number seven, Adam Maroney. Brandon Breed picking it up. Jonathan Pacheco in there. And Wade Schaefer trying to clear it out. Luke Lau gets, a, gets on it. Goes out off of Zebra's number 30, Will Smith. Into Braden Breed. Over to Zebra's number six, Kalen Campbell. Brady Evans with it now. Picked off by Maroney. Sent down pitch. And we're going to roll out of bounds. Another sub, uh, who is that? Is this, I think his name is Chase. Oh, uh, Chase Fanning. Chase Fanning. Newcomer yeah, to cast in this year. this year. We actually had several new people this year. How to show, uh, coming over top of the ball, tripped on it a little bit there. Wade Schaefer now working it down towards Comet's goal. Emily Holt trying to play some defense on there. There she he goes. He tried to fake her out and did not succeed. Brady Evans sending it up and over to the waiting head of Jared Adley. Nice play there by Maroney. Emily Holt sending it high overhead. Down to number 22, Boston Hunter. And Braden Breed getting in there and getting on a piece of that. Kobe Pugh over to Fanning. Fanning goes shoulder to shoulder with Zebra defense. Comets come out with the ball. Wyatt Brummett sending it down towards the goal. Emily Holt gets a hold of it and into the waiting arms of Aaron Cox. Couldn't, couldn't find the goalkeeper's name. Bailey Zimpleman coming out and meeting it. He's going to drop kick the ball back to the center. Breed thought it was coming in a little closer to him than it was. And Zebra's with control of the ball. Wow. Luke Lau, Lau using his entire body, just picked that off. Slides in there, maintains control of the ball. Looking for an open teammate to pass to. Pacheco going to send it up to Howdashell. Howdashell there mid-pitch, sends it back over to Lau. Nice footwork there by Lau. Manages to... Oh. Outwork Maroney and passes it behind Braden Breed. There was a lot of really good foot, footwork just now. I mean, they were really just getting it down the. It, it always pitch. amazes me watching how soccer players are able to control and, and move their feet. Um, I know last year when I had uh, lunchtime supervision in the gym they'd get a hacky sack out or, or have a soccer ball out and just watching them juggle the ball around and, and how well they can control that. It's just crazy. All right. Wade Schaefer down there sends it in for a goal. Bailey Zimpleman with the stop. Oh 
Sends it down to Braden Breed. Breed to how to shell. Back to Breed. And nobody downfield for him to send to. Wade Schaefer of the Zebras now. Sends it back to midfield to number 10, Mitchell Schaefer. Luke Lau getting in the middle of that. Can't quite get control. Comets defense trying to help out the goalkeeper. Fanning sending it back towards mid pitch. <laughs> that was a pretty decent move there by uh, Rowan Jellison, keeping keeping it's the. Like he uh, distracted the actual defender, uh, defender, so that Fanning could come in there and get possession. Wow, kicking it high to clear it. No, how to show coming up and getting possession of it. Oh wow! Sends it downfield, and Aaron Cox sending it right back. Luke Lau sending it to Brady Evans. Evans sending it up to Noah How to Show. How to Show with two defenders on him. Sends, oh, it, sends it over to Pacheco. Nice. Can't quite complete that. Fanning picks it up. Out maneuvers the defense over to Braden Breed. Breed sending it back to Jellison. Looks like launches it show? down to How to Show. How to Show with the header. Brady Evans trying to get over to it. Can't quite beat the Zebra defenders to it. Emily Holt, though, stops it. Sends it over to How to Show. How to Show up to Breed. The zebra sending it back down to midfield to Wade Schaefer. Schaefer looking to set up his play. Sends it over to number 16, Bailey Small. And Comets will take possession. Jelson looking to set up the throw in. He's going to throw it back to Wyatt Brummett. Brummett going to send it hard down pitch to Noah How to Show. Into Zebra's territory. Chase Fanning sending it over to... Is that Edgar? It is. It's Edgar Aguilar. Mm -hmm. Back down into Comets territory. Luke Lau sending it off of number three, RJ Karenko. And he'll throw it into Edgar. Ball out of bounds over by the benches. Jealousy going to send it back to Brummett. All right, not sure what happened here in mid pitch, but Zebras with possession. Nice footwork there. Comet's getting in the middle of it, though. And out of bounds here on the close side. Evans sending it, or Evans. <laughs> Luke Lau sending it into Noah How to Show. How to Show. Faking out Maroney. He's taking it down the pitch. Oh. And loses possession down there. Emily Holt trying to get up there on it. Can't quite get to it in time. And ball out of bounds right here in front of us. Go, 
got Lizzie Pierce coming in. Going to give Noah How to Show some rest. Emily Holt down here working for the ball. Loses it to number three, uh, RJ Karenko. Goal kick by Mitchell Schaefer. Bailey Zimpleman able to stop that. 9.20 left in the first half here. Score tied up 1-1. One to one. It's kind of crazy to think just sitting here, I'm like tired. I mean, I just got <laughs> done with my practice. I'm here supposed to be commentating and, you know, there's kids out on the pitch that have been playing the entire game. Like that's a lot of it really start, is. stop, running. It's I, I'm always amazed by the amount of running that's intrinsic to soccer. You know, our, our guys who are in soccer and cross country, I know more than once that they've they've come to cross country practice, and I ask them how much mileage they covered in in soccer, and they're like, oh, six miles, and they could show me on GPS where they basically were doing six miles of sprints. Colby Pugh clearing it out towards mid pitch. Adam Maroney on it, sending it back down to number 20, Gabe Scors Scorsoni? Scorsoni. Folks at home, I am back to butchering names again. Glad you could join me for that. We have Kegan Slocum in, too. I didn't even notice that they subbed in. Jellison to Colby Pugh. Pugh trying to send it down to Pierce. Had Adam Maroney get in the middle of that. Now we got R.J. Karenko with it. Over to Heckathorn. Pugh tries to stop it from going out. Manages to take it out off of himself. Heckathorn, nice footwork keeping it in bounds over there. Luke Lau gets in there, though, and goes out of bounds. At the goal line. Schaefer with the kick now. 7.01 left in this half. Sends it in. Bailey Zimpleman with the stop. Drop kicks it to mid pitch. Zebra is waiting for it. Pew going to send it down into Zebra's territory. Good defense being played here mid-pitch by both teams. Colby Pew tries to clear it down to the Zebra's end. Can't quite get on it. Luke Lau getting in there. Got R.J. Karenko down there trying to work it towards the goal. Into Lizzie Pierce. Ball down to Luke Lau. Luke sending it to mid pitch. And Aaron Cox on it. Wade Schaefer. Colby Pugh with it now. Nice play there by Heckathorn, keeping control of it for the Zebras. Wyatt Brummett sends it back out from the goal. Got a face off here, just about 20 yards from the goal, and we're out of bounds. I've noticed throughout this, uh, the Zebras like to use their entire body. They really have slid into a lot of the like defensive plays and like picked it right off from the Comets. 
You know, like we get on the ground if we get contact, but yeah, that's how they get the ball is they slide under it. Uh, Luke has done Luke Lau's done a, mm -hmm. a really good job of doing with a similar tactic. Uh, but I yeah, Luke is about, but he's like the only other one that I've seen from the comments. But that just seems to be like a major go-to for the zebras. You know, maybe that's soccer strategy talking. I don't know. <laughs> Jellison now sends it back up. Maintains control of that through a near collision. Sends it down pitch. And it, Adam Maroney on it. Colby Pugh, though, gets a hold of it. Tries to send it over to Noah Rogers. And we've got Heckathorn clearing that out of there. Wade Schaefer right in the center of the pitch. Sends it over to Mitchell Schaefer. Rowan Jellison trying to clear that out of there. Balls up and into the waiting arms of Bailey Zempelman. Zempelman trying to get it over here to Noah Rogers. Get Heckathorn on it instead. Now we've got Holt facing off against Karenko. Karenko to Heckathorn, out of bounds. And we've got some substitutions coming in. Looks like we got Braden Breed coming back in. Colby Pugh going to step off the pitch. And it looks like the Zebras have Bailey Small coming in. Wow, sending it, tries to send it to Breed. Heckathorn gets in on that. Rogers back to Lau. Lau clears it across to Jellison. Jellison keeps it right along the sideline. Sends it down the pitch. It's like trying to get it to Slocum. Got a little too much on it. In to Breed, out off of Breed. Zebras will send it back to midfield. You know, soccer players naturally use their head. <laughs> How many concussions do you think come out of soccer seasons every year. Just, I mean, from running into each other to <laughs> getting hit with the ball. I mean, there's been several times where the ball would hit, like, <laughs> at the top of, like, the speakers, like, at the top of the lineup here. And, I mean, you know, that's that's a lot of velocity going, <laughs> a lot of coming back down. You know, and you always had those statistics about, you know, football is the most dangerous sport, you uh, know. I I think that that ball has a little bit more give than what it looks like. Breed, uh, Breed with the goal kick actually sends it sailing clear of the goal, clear of the uprights, and into the field next door. Nice assist there by Jared Adley, keeping it away from Rochester's goal. 35 seconds left in the half now. We have, let's see, Dakota Duff, I believe. Another uh, new player this year coming in for Kagan Slocum. And there's the half. Here at the half, we're all tied up. Comets and Zebras, one and one. 
Well, stay tuned for more Zebras and Comet Soccer here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. this is a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are. 
with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you're just joining us here on Casting TV on RTC TV4, uh, you'll notice down on the scoreboard, the score is all tied up, one all. Uh, plenty of attempts on the goal with some good defense by the goalkeepers and some great defense by the uh, guys and gal in the gal guys and gals there I'll get it out eventually in the backfield um, off air we're over here we were talking to Val and Aubrey it sounded like you got your uh, concussion question answered you want to you want to tell us what you learned um well I don't remember the exact <laughs> statistics <laughs> that was a little bit ago I guess but I guess soccer is more well known for the more severe concussions. So there are more concussions in football, football but more but severe, more severe concussions in soccer. Yeah. Might have something to do with the fact that you've got something covering your noggin in football. Yeah, that might prove a little hard if you're trying to wear a helmet and play soccer at the same time. Right, right. Prevent skull fractures. Uh, helmets prevent skull fractures. Well, thank you, Val. Not concussions. All right. Well, and we know that because uh, on the cross-country team, we have Bryn Butchkowski who managed to earn a concussion while wearing uh, sparring headgear. So there was yeah. that. You know, just there's some people that are just more susceptible to those kind of things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably. It doesn't help, of course, when you stand up into the bottom of an open locker. Anyway, Bryn, if you watch this, we care deeply about you, and we're so glad that you're on the cross-country team. Don't play a contact uh, sport. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, uh, so last season we had four all-conference players. Is that what I understood? Four? Yeah. With only Noah How to Show returning. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, of course, the rest were graduating seniors. If you've got to lose players, I guess graduation is the reason to do it. You know, last year's senior class, they didn't, I don't want to sound like offensive, but they didn't really stick out in too many other sports or, like, activities. But soccer, they really, they well, really stood out in soccer. That was, like, their thing. That was, we, like. We, we had a couple of and them. And we had that, them on the cross-country team. You start saying, we had some but, people that were known on the cross-country team. I mean, we, we had, had the two, but, I mean, like, we graduated for all-conference three all conferences from well, that that's soccer yeah. you know that's pretty a pretty big deal for them um, I know they had a really good season almost won the sectional I believe so yeah hopefully I, they can make it back this year it's uh yeah you know, the sad thing is is it's really difficult it's really difficult for me as cross-country coach to follow the other fall sports very closely I, I'm I, I have a little bit more time to follow girls and boys basketball in the winter, um, but yeah, I know that I know that we've uh, traditionally, again, we've had a fairly strong soccer program. So um, it's looking good so far tonight. Yeah. I mean, one all uh, against a, a much bigger school. So, but on top of that, I mean, something that I always think is interesting is how. We don't have a specific girls team. I right. believe Rochester does have a girls team designated just them. And uh, Emily Holt, huge shout out to her. I mean, I play basketball with her. I know she's a natural athlete, and she's been out here the entire game competing against boys and, like, holding her own. Oh, ab absolutely. She's uh well, and we've had a couple other, again, we've had a, a few players who mm -hmm. have been on the pitch for the – Entire 40 minutes of play so far, yeah. and just huge props to them. The athleticism required to be out there and, again, basically do sprint drills for 40 minutes, and several of them are going to be out here and play the vast majority of the second half. 
Speaking of which, second half action just 15 seconds away. Thank you again for joining us here this afternoon on Casting Comets TV on RTC TV4. Zebras fans, if you're watching us, thank you for joining us. And again, I am I apologize for any butchering of names that I do. I'm usually doing good to remember my own name, uh, let alone the athletes out on the pitch, the field, or the floor. Right, just a couple more minutes as the teams take to the pitch. Oh, not minutes. Please, not minutes. <laughs> it looks like we're sending out Brady Evans, Noah Hadashell, Braden Breed, uh, Jonathan Pacheco, Edgar Aguilar, Emily Holt, Luke Lau, Wyatt Brummett. I believe that's Rowan Jellison over here. Yes, it is. In the corner, and uh, Noah Rogers. Along with our uh, goalkeeper, uh, Bailey Zimpleman. Bailey Zimpleman. Rochester also had four all-conference players last year. Oh. Three of the four Rochester players graduated. Well, there we go. Last season, Rochester also with four all-conference players and graduated three of their four. So. Wade Schaefer, number 99, is the one that's back from mm. last year. Wade Schaefer, number 99, returning all-conference player. And definitely you can see it in his leadership and poise out on yeah. the pitch. He's definitely been, I mean, just watching, I've noticed that he's the major he, go-to. He's um, always a point of contact on that ball, I've yeah. noticed. He definitely has a lot of good footwork, too. I mean, he knows the game of soccer. Okay, wow. and he also kicks for the Rochester Zebras football program, so. Wow. So, I mean, it's hard being a two-sport athlete then, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've we've got a couple of several them. Several of those. Oh, yeah, we have several school-wide, uh, and I know that we have a couple in, in cross-country, and uh, say. those guys are always worn out. And then and and then I don't I can't speak to the Rochester guys, but I know the casting guys. They just don't get a break because they go right out of fall into basketball yeah. season. So I know uh, girls basketball starts the uh, week after regional. So I mean, anybody who has to or gets to move on to semi state has to miss out on their first week of basketball practices. <laughs> I mean, due to IHSA rules. Right. But. All right, Rochester working the ball down towards the Comets' goal. Luke Lau kicking it clear. Had a... Trying to see the number of the Rochester player. He went for a goal kick. Bailey Zimpleman got on that. Drop kicks it clear across mid pitch. Emily Holt trying to get in there and break up the Zebra's play. Sends it out of bounds. And there's Wade Schaefer. Gonna inbound that. You Sends know, it right up the sideline. I don't know why this was weird for me, but like just Seeing all of our people down here on this side, I was like, where where are we going? And then I was like, like Forgot we're that switching, we switched sides. switching sides. I mean, it happens yeah. in every sport, but I guess it's on a much larger scale now, so it's a little weirder. <laughs> Pacheco getting in there. Gets ticked off over to uh, Hecathorn. Luke Lau with stop, sends it up to Braden Breed. Jared Adley getting a hold of it, sends it back down. Breed back in the middle of it. Up to Maroney. Comets working it back up to mid-pitch. 
Noah Rogers over to Noah Howdashell. Sending it to Noah Howdashell. Howdashell, nice strategic Come stop. On. Six ah. sends the goal kick, and it's just, just a little misses. to the right. Adley sending it over to number 16, Bailey Small. Comet's getting in and having a piece of that. How to shell trapped along the sideline. Trying to work it back towards the goal. Nudged out of bounds by Caleb Schaefer. Jared Adley sending it in. Pacheco there. Going to get his head on the ball and send it back up to know how to show. How to show. Trying to get it towards the goal. And it's there's a good. Comets goal. Comets now with first lead of the game. Two to one. Noah how to show. I mean, he almost lost it there, but he just kept pushing it forward. And it definitely paid off. It's interesting to me to see the strategic stops and things like that where, you know, just a quick pause on the ball. You let the defenders fly right by you. And yeah, you in moments where, like, it looks wide open from our view, they pull it back and then are able to just go around it or even just pass off to another teammate. Yeah. Adley to Karenko. Aguilar getting on that. How to show? How to show? Trying to send it to Pacheco. See who ends up with it. We're gonna run it out of bounds here. How to show to Pacheco. Pacheco over to Jellison. Oh. Jellison manages to keep control off of it. Pass gets picked off, though. Number eight, Zach Pickens. We're over to Emily Holt. Zach Heckathorn, not Zach. Excuse me, Braden Heckathorn fighting for that. Time I find somebody's name on the roster, the play's over. That's why I usually... Uh call our team <laughs> until I get used to the other team's roster. Yeah, usually about the end of a game we've we've got the other team down and then corner kick into the middle. Cleared out. Braden Breed's got it now. Breed trying to send it to How to Show. Adley gets a piece of it. Karenko. Breed taking a hold of it now. Caleb Schaefer sending it clear out of bounds. Ball in at number 10, Mitchell Schaefer. Over to Caleb Schaefer. Nice stop spin there by How to Show. Sends it over to Noah Rogers. Rogers back to How to Show. And number six, Kalen Campbell getting a piece of that. Pacheco over to How to Show. How to Show sends it up in front of Breed. And Aaron Cox with the stop. Drop kick back to the middle. Aguilar. How to show. Couple of fakes. Gonna drop it back to Pacheco. Over to Brady Evans. Evans trying to send it back to midfield. And uh, we've got Heckathorn with it.
A little bit of back and forth down here in front of the Comets goal. Both teams are still going really hard, which, I mean, <laughs> it's been a long time. But right. you've got to think that they, they've – some of these players been out here for the better part of an hour. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, there's also – there's a lot of people that haven't played too. You know, that's just something – I remember right. when I was talking to the girls today about the game – they said Rochester, uh, I don't remember if it was they were talking about this year or last year's team, but there's about 20 kids for JV and then 20 kids for varsity. Wow. So they have about 40 kids. That's a lot of bench depth that, to have. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that allows for everybody to have a sub in one way or another. So each person can have their position and a sub. Breed. Come on. Oh. oh, sends it just a little bit to the left. Beat the goalie. Just miss the shot. But anyway, back to the other conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, but also I noticed that we don't have that many people. We right. have about, I don't know, 30 Kids, maybe JV varsity. Well, just looking at 20. the just looking at the uh, varsity rosters, it looks like they have five or six players more than we do. Mm -hmm. And you know that bench depth, it can and another Comets goal. What I'm not sure about is whether or not that was an own goal there off of the zebras. Nope, we're giving that to Noah Howdashell. Noah Howdashell definitely. Definitely pulling his weight from this. I mean, he, he didn't play in the um, scrimmage, scrimmage but, I mean, he's definitely coming out and he's definitely living up to the MVP uh, all-conference title. Well, and, you know, when it's your senior season, you got to go big. All right, Jared Adley sending it down. Wyatt Brumman on it. Sends it just across mid-pitch. Brady Evans sending it down. We've got Noah Rogers with it now. And we're going to roll out of bounds. Into Karenko. Pacheco getting a piece of that. Zebras now bringing it across midfield. And Emily Holt trying to get a piece of it. Comets teamwork there breaks up the Zebras play. We now have Wade Schaefer on that. Turning Zebras all-conference player. And ref calling, uh, calling this Zebras ball. Zach Pickens. It's a penalty kick and goes wide. I can't imagine how much anticipation is there for the goalie. I mean, <laughs> most of the time when they're down at the other end, I mean, you gotta just watch. I mean, obviously you have to be alert, but yeah, to be waiting can... for the penalty kick, you know, you don't know quite where it's gonna go. It could fake one way and go the other, but I mean, you know, just the fact that it's going to come at any point, <laughs> right. I mean, that's just a lot of anticipation, um, you know, but that's also right. coming and from me and I, I definitely get a little overworked about a lot of things that probably shouldn't be as big of a deal as they are. <laughs> well, and you got to think that's, that's a lot of goal for, yeah, for way it's not like in hockey where the goalie in their pads takes up over half of the goal it's you know you got a lot of goal to manage mm -hmm. how to shell sending it in up to our wow sending, sending it into how to shell you got to take me as i mean not as i say you know blair to get the other team's names wrong is like one thing 
But like you've known these kids forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I I usually hear about this once they watch the broadcast. Uh, Rogers trying to outrun the ball, can't quite get there. Zebra is going to take possession of it. Just over 27 minutes left. Comets with a healthy two-goal lead. Pacheco with a stop there. Zebra's kicking it clear. And we've got Emily and Lau. Running that down. Lau with possession of it. Sends it over to Howdashell. Sent back. Comet's trying to kick it clear. Zebra's not letting that happen. Aguilar finally sending it back across mid-pitch. Wow, Braden Breed really picking up speed while running down there. He'd probably be a really good sprinter. I mean, he was catching that kid. Yeah, you know, I, I watch a lot of fall sports and think you know, this person or that person should be on, be in track in the spring, and, and then it doesn't happen. It's always a little heartbreaking. Breed sending it into How to Shell. How to Shell. Triple coverage. Works it through oh. almost with a fourth goal for the Comets. Colby Pugh coming in for the Comets, replacing Jonathan Pacheco. And uh, scoreboard camera's gone down. That's a good thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh. having some technical difficulties here with our scoreboard camera. So 25, just over 25 minutes left in the game. Score still three to one. Jellison fighting it out down here with number 16. Got Zebra's number 33, Aaron Arnett, sent it down towards the goal. And Colby Pugh kicking the ball clear. All right, Aguilar sending it across mid-pitch. They took Braden Breed out of the game. Is that the first time Breed's been out of the game? I think aside from halftime, yeah. So I noticed uh, Chase is back in the game along with Colby. But I, don't, I didn't think they'd taken Breed out yet. Ball rolls just out of bounds down here in Comets territory. Right, 22.58 left to play. Still 3-1 to one Comets game. We've got How to Shell fighting it out. There was Schaefer over there on the opposite sideline.
Comets get the possession as the ball goes out. Aguilar over to How to Show. How to Show waiting out the defender, sends it over to Jellison. Jellison, Ooh. nice maneuvering there around number 16. Small. Sends it to How to Show. How to Show tries oh. for that goal kick. Nice stop there by Aaron Cox, Rochester goalkeeper. Small over to Schaefer. 21 56 in the game. Aguilar. Looks like looks Schaefer like, was Yeah, it looks like he might have might have gotten hurt on that. Rochester is definitely not happy about it. Yeah, that that they uh You're hearing a lot of noise from over <laughs> at the bench. They well they were trying to get a call when uh Schaefer went down there and then the refs just gave that to the Comets, and uh, Rochester not happy about it. Wow, trying to send it over. Stopped by with a header by Zach Pickens. Wyatt Brummett kicking it out of bounds, stopping the Zebras play on that. 20-46 left in the game, still 3-1 to one for the Comets. Every time Rochester has a good run going, I mean, it goes out of bounds, but they're already, like, they're ready to throw it back in. There's always subs. Always. So they have to stop their play and stop the motion of the game. So, I mean, I don't know how that'll how that has played out for them. But I definitely know that from basketball when we have to stop the play. Right. And we get out of Break, our swing. Breaks that's that when momentum. it just kind of Absolutely. Colby Pugh sending it to Braden Breed back in. Breed out maneuvered there by Adam Maroney. Maroney sending it back downfield. We've got Hecathorn with it. And rolls out. Corner kick in at the goal. We've got a kick clear by Brummett. Sends it up high. Right, Zimpleman kicking it down to mid pitch. Schaefer working it past Aguilar. Nice slide kick there, and Zimpleman with the stop. Nice play by the Zebras. Nice save by Zimpleman. I say Zimpleman's definitely, he's, he's he, blocked a lot so far. I mean. He's doing great down there in the net. That's for sure. Maroney over to Schaefer. Schaefer sends it in and it goes just to the left. Heard a collective groan from some Zebras fans. 18-20 left in the game. Score still 3-1 Comets. Hopefully the Comets can hold out this momentum and, you know, end up winning the game. Because I know that, I mean, a win is a win. I mean, obviously we're going to be happy, but I think that would be a really good season starter to start, like, some momentum going through here. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Zebras with the ball mid-pitch. Hecathorn. Hecathorn versus Breed. Breed 
Sends it out of bounds. Zebra's putting it right back in play. And we had a slide stop there. Heck of Thorn versus Lau. Over to Breed. Breed sends it up to uh, Fanning. And Zimpleman with the stop. Looks like number 10 for the Zebras. Looks like Mitchell Schaefer, I believe. Was it Mitchell Schaefer? Yep, Mitchell Schaefer. He was a little slow getting up on that one. Limp, limping now. I don't mean, I don't know what happened exactly, but. 17 minutes left now. Three to one, Comets. Wade Schaefer sending it back towards the goal. There's a goal kick. Another stop by Bailey Zimpleman. Zimpleman doing a good job of not letting stuff get past him. So uh, let's face it, 16 and a half minutes. It'll be a long time to play. A lot can happen in that time. All right, Comets with it back down in Zebra's territory for the first time in a while. Fanning with tripping, rolling, and right back up with it. That just reminds me of when you did that, but it wasn't because of a no, soccer ball. No, it wasn't soccer. I tripped on a tire. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 I'll confess to that. I, I'm old and uncoordinated, Aubrey. I still managed to roll and come back up, keep running. Breed setting up his kick. Nice stop there by Adley. Sends it back up to mid, mid pitch. A little bit of a shove there is Colby Pugh looking for who, who to send the ball to. Wade Schaefer over to number eight, Zach Pickens. Pickens over to Heckathorn. Holt trying to get in there. Looks like she may have at least broken the momentum of the play. Just over 15 minutes left in the game now. Zebra's fighting hard to uh, tie it up or take the lead. Zimpleman with another stop. Breed trying to get on it as it comes across mid pitch. Sends it over to Aguilar with the header. Maroney kicking it back across mid-pitch. There's Brummett returning the favor. Schaefer with a little bit of an outmaneuver on Holt there. He's taking it up. Sends it sailing over the goal. 14.09 left in the game. Cast in three, Zebras one. A lot of disagreement there with uh, between the ref and the coach. That's always fun when the coach gets involved and not only are the players aggravated, but suddenly the coach is too and that just makes everything a good time.
All right, Evans kicking it well clear of mid pitch. Braden Breed has the ball down here. There just doesn't seem to be enough Comet players to be able to make anything happen. They're coming back, but it was definitely a very uh, defended area there for a little bit. All right. All right, Schaefer here. Aguilar getting in between. Oh, a little that bit of was a shove. A shove. Wow. Schaefer definitely getting aggravated by the way the game is going. <laughs> but I, I mean, by now I think that's all of the zebras at this point. Right. It's always situations of th like these that you can see the tension growing that you know it's probably not going to be a I, great talk after the game either. Yeah, oh yeah, it usually ends up with some uh, some boil over. Got Colby Pugh coming back in for the comments, taking out Noah Howdeshell. They actually started pulling Noah back off of the goal and started playing him about mid-pitch, so that was a little bit of a change up for the comments, and we also didn't have as much play at the uh, goal. All right. Well, hey, with 10 minutes left, I got the, our technical difficulties with our scoreboard camera fixed. There's Luke Lau sending the ball back across mid-pitch. Wade Schaefer waiting on it. Sends it over to number eight, Zach Pickens. Pickens versus Pugh. Getting down there. Bailey Zimpleman there go. going oh, for it. Oh, a little pile up over there. Yeah. Uh, why Rowan are... Jellison saving the ball from going out of bounds. Over to Aguilar. Thomas just trying to get it down the pitch. They, they really, I think right now, I think that their strategy is just try to keep the ball clear of the goal and uh, hang on to this two-goal lead for the next nine minutes. Well, the Zebras, it appears, are trying to speed up the game. They get, they're starting to make a lot shorter passes. I mean, unless they can get it at a good distance. But trying to get closer to the goal before they... Oh, absolutely. Go for a the zebras right now are need, are starting to get to a point where I think that they need to play faster, and uh, the comets need to keep the tempo, keep the tempo down, hold on for the next just over or just under nine minutes, and uh, keep a hold of the lead. Come out of this with the win. And, I mean, honestly, I believe the comments have it, but you can't say that too soon because oh, there's a not. lot to happen and absolutely. eight minutes. All, all, it takes, all it takes is a couple of, of good plays, a couple of, you know, missed blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I, I think that one of the couple games I watched last season um, went from a tied-up game to a two-point deficit in the last five minutes. So it's it's certainly never over. Oh, it's definitely until it's always over. possible, yeah. Out of bounds on the far side there, Comets ball. Just by the expressions of some of the players, I can tell like the Comets are starting to get a little bit tired, but you know, I know how much they still want this, and they're still going hard. Just well, have to make it through the next <laughs> seven minutes. 
I certainly struggle to conceptualize doing something so athletic for 80 minutes. Yeah, I was talking to the boys, you know, asking him to uh, summarize soccer. And, you know, I asked, like, how long it was, and they said 80 minutes. I was, I honestly thought they were joking, because, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I never really truly watched, but, I mean, that's a long time. Oh, abso absolutely. Especially in a row. I mean, basketball and 20, is all divided up right. into quarters. And, and that's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's 80 minutes in two halves. Yeah. Jellison sending it down, trying to get it to breed. Intercepted there by uh, number 12, Caleb Schaefer. Jellison picking his target. Sends it into Pacheco. The fans really urging the comments. I mean, they're really starting to talk now. I heard some people saying, you know, just to speed it up and everything, but that's not always the best thing to do. Yeah, Especially with a running clock. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. It, it, the smart play now is to run the clock down. Um, at least in my mind, based on every other sport and having a lead, the smart play is run the clock down. Jellison keeping a hold like of it. Breed is. Breed holding his foot. He's hurting. still down. I'm not sure if he got spiked or. Oh, he's holding the bottom of his foot. And I don't know if they're going to send in a sub for him. We have the athletic trainer coming out, so Well, he looks like his he looks like his uh gait's getting a little bit more natural as he goes across. Hopefully that doesn't mean another injury for the comments, because. Uh, oh yeah, that's. Breed's definitely played a really big role in uh, the game so far. He's done a really good job, um, offense and defense. We have How to Shell back in the game. Rowan sending it down to. Uh, how to show, knocked out by several Zebras defenders. 5.42 left in the game. Rowan looking to try to get it to Noah, but the defenders are definitely playing really close to his side. I mean, they have a good reason to. He has scored all three of their... Oh, yeah. so far, but it's making it hard to find someone to get it into. Absolutely. Sends it into Aguilar. Aguilar fighting two zebras. It's like, uh, looks like Adley and Karinko down there. Under five minutes left in the game. Deep in the corner. I can't How quite show. see. How to show with the corner kick. Goes up and over to Evans. Oh. Evans almost, almost with a header in. in. Aaron Cox with a nice stop there. Same Emily, Emily Holt. Holt sending it back. That would have been really cool if uh, that yeah. would have gone in for Brady there. Maroney kicking it deep into Comet's territory. Lau gonna just knock it out of bounds and break that play. Into the corner, another nice stop there by Bailey Simpleman. Sending it, like it's it to going pitch. Pacheco. Pacheco. Oof. That was nearly a head to head there between Maroney and Pacheco. Nice slide kick there by Schaefer. How to show jumping over it. 
A little less than a... Three and four. a half. Yeah, we're at three and a half, so... Yeah, it's starting to look really good for the comments so far. Again, you still can't say too much. But. Absolutely. I think I hear that fat lady in the wings warming up, but it's not over until she starts singing. <laughs> Obviously, Zebra's still wanting of, wanting to tie it up and have a chance to take it in overtime. Holt with the header over to How to Show. How to Show to Aguilar. Aguilar sending it down pitch. That's and out of bounds Mar on the Zebras. Maroney breaking that play before Pacheco can get to it. 2.45 left. Looks like how to show back down here with the corner kick. 2.22 left. Stay tuned mm -hmm. after He's the game. He's throwing it in. Oh, okay, it was my bad, throw in. Uh, stay tuned after the game. We've got varsity coach Nar Sanchez going to come up to the booth and have a post-game word with us. Ball down here mid-pitch. Wade Schaefer with it. Working it down. Facing off here against Luke Lau. Lau. Why Brummett sending it back. Emily Holt. Mid-pitch. Back to Lau. And uh, number six, Kaylin Campbell gets it back down into Comet's territory. Minute and a half left in the game. Holt kicking it out of bounds. Zebra's ball quick on that inbound into Heckathorn. You know, I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, we were talking about the seniors last year, how they graduated. Right, but, they do uh, that. But uh, Levi Lau and uh, Noah Colvin have actually helped this year with, with the program coaching idea. soccer this year. I know they've been heavily involved. So sometimes even when you leave, you never actually leave. Well, and it's, it's good to, as a coach, it's good to have that kind of dynasty mentality where, where there's, you know, you start building a, a winning program and a winning tradition and a winning attitude, and I think that's probably one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. uh, such a high percentage of every sport is mental. Because when you when yeah. you give up mentally, then it all breaks down physically. Mm -hmm. And so having those players then who were successful coming back and helping with the programs, I, I think is just a, a really great plan on the part of any coaching staff that can make that happen. Right, 16 seconds left. I'd say that scoring two goals in 16 seconds isn't going to happen. But there's one of there's them. There's one of them. I, I may have spoken too soon. I do that on occasion. Wade Schaefer there putting the second point on for the Rochester Zebras. Just over 10 seconds left to play. Yeah, and that just... I mean, we're still up by one point, but that goes back well, to the you can't it's, really it's you never, can't let down your guard. It's not over until that final until that final buzzer, bell, whistle, whatever you've got. <laughs> How to show to Aguilar? Taking out Aguilar, kicking it deep. Stop there by Aaron Cox. He's going to send it back down, and there's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Comets victorious with a 3-2 victory over the Rochester Zebras today. Well, thanks for joining us here on Comets TV on RTC TV4. Uh, we've got a few words from our sponsors while we wait for Coach Nar Sanchez to come up and talk to us here in the booth. Stay tuned. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com.
Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Low download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, I did just realize that there is a JV game that we aren't covering. So uh, we're going to be wrapping up our live coverage here. Uh, I will try to grab an interview with with uh, Coach Sanchez later on, and we'll have that uh, uploaded later. And we'll make sure that uh, we have that information for you. Until next time, thank you for watching. Once again, the Casting Comets victorious over the Rochester Zebras 3-2 to two tonight. And uh, join us tomorrow evening as we cover the West Central visiting the Casting Comets here at the Crater for a season opener of football. Until next time, I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined here at the booth by Aubrey Degg. And uh, you're watching Comets TV on RTC TV4.